Good morning. Today is Saturday, January 21st, 2023. I didn't post yesterday. This morning, I am contemplating scars and lesions. And at the beginning of the video, maybe I'll just flash it up again now. Um, you'll see this is an image of me, a still image from the film shoot of my short film, Receptivity, which you can also watch on this YouTube channel. You may have to scroll back a while. This is an image that captures um, a physical scar that I have on my left arm, my left bicep. And part of the reason I'm sharing this today is because um, a friend mentioned it or asked me about it yesterday. Um, you can see it there in the screen. So sometimes when I wear short sleeve shirts, the bottom part of the scar is visible. And sometimes people ask me about it. Sometimes it takes them a while to ask me about it. Um, and I get the sense that in some cases, there's there's sort of an imagine, imagining of why it's there or what it represents um, until I tell the story about it. Um, in this case, I had a large birthmark there on my left arm. And when I was very young, it was sort of light in color. And as I got older and was exposed to sun and, you know, get sunlight in the summertime, it got darker and bolder. Um, my memory of this birthmark is interesting to me. Uh, the earliest memory that I have now that involves my conscious awareness of this mark um, is in the back seat of my mom's 1987 Ford Probe Coupe. And I was given a sleeveless shirt to wear to go play t-ball. So I, I was like five or six. Uh, this was kindergarten, maybe first grade. And so I remember having this sleeveless shirt on and feeling a bit panicked because I was going to go to play this t-ball game and expose this birthmark. And I don't remember anything before that. Uh, that would I don't know why I felt this way about this scar or about this mark a lesion, whatever you want to call it, this strange thing on my arm, um, except for that I must have been aware that it was something that was different about me and that a lot of other people didn't have that at that scale. Uh, I, don't, I don't recall moments before being in the back seat of this car that would have informed my attitude about this birthmark. I do remember being sort of panicked and terrified and not liking it. And it is probably, no, I'm going to say, it is the reason why I didn't want to continue playing t-ball. I played that game. And then there are subsequent memories. Um, I, don't, I don't consciously at this point in my life experience um, remember anybody making fun of it. I can anticipate that or, or imagine that that might have happened, but I can't say that it did because I don't remember it. It was mostly about um, my attitude about it, I think. And so I don't know what that means. I'm just sharing a story. Okay. So I don't need to psychoanalyze it at this point. We'll get to that. So Um, in high school, 
I guess I opened up the conversation about um, the conversation with my parents about the possibility of uh, getting it removed. I, th- I was at a mode in my life, and I do kind of actively remember being in this place of like wanting to purge and get rid of anything about myself that would uh, subject me to emotional pain or um, lead me to, uh, I don't know how to explain this. Let me say it in terms of the vanity of it. If I look really pretty, maybe people will be nice to me. So um, let me get let me get rid of things that aren't pretty, and let me try to start getting some positive attention for the way I look. There w- there was this attitude. So I'm being really. Um, conf- this is a confessional. So. We, uh, I had health insurance at the time, and somehow um, a dermatologist, probably rightfully so, suggested that there was some danger in this birthmark developing into some sort of skin cancer or some other condition. So it was justified to that the insurance would pay for the surgery. So I went to a plastic surgeon, and they grafted some skin from my hip and you can see it there in the image it's on now on my arm and i have a scar on my hip as well from the skin that was grafted and you can see in the image there there are two there were two grafts because part of the inside of this original graft didn't make it and they had to do it again so it was kind of a big deal and as you can see here i mean this was 20 four years ago, and I still have this scar. And interestingly, I haven't done much to it in terms of like scar reduction uh, creams or treatments or any kind of resurfacing. I'm sure there are things out there, but I've just left it the way it is. So I still have the scar. Getting rid of the birthmark doesn't mean I, I don't still have a physical scar. My body seems to be... Um, remembering that there was a cut around the perimeter of that and you know scars heal stronger than than the skin that was there before you know this is a biological phenomenon so it's there and so sometimes when people ask me about it um, I jokingly suggest that I could come up with a more um, romantic or interesting story to explain it like um, I rescued yet yeah, this the story that came up yesterday is that I rescued um, a lovely lady from a pack of wolves and the wolf got me and you know so um, but anyway that's that's not the case I had a birthmark and I didn't like it and I wanted to avoid the emotional pain and the trauma of having to deal with it as uh, another thing that made me different from other people and. I took it away. So this is a this is a physical scar that represents for whatever reason an emotional scar. Maybe it's a lesion from a past incarnation. Who like I'm I really don't remember before being in that back seat and holding this side of my body against the side of the car because I didn't want to see that I didn't want to see it and I didn't want people to see it, that birthmark. So whatever happened before that, that led me to that neurosis or feeling that way. I mean, I'm using the word neurosis. Maybe it is, I don't know. I'm not a psychotherapist again. That's not what this is. But the emotional scar is a little bit what I wanted to kind of contemplate today because it's not... a It's not as it was for me. And my sense is that we all have emotional scars. We all have lesions from the past. But they don't they don't have to define us and they don't they aren't they they don't have to be static. So 
as you evolve and experience and grow and learn and interact and become, uh, you may find yourself, as I have, looking back and re-knowing your past. I mean, what a sweet, sensitive little boy who didn't know how to deal with feeling the way he was feeling. And that was okay. Um, perhaps many of the things that I experienced as a younger person that made me or through which I felt unique or different have actually led me to be quite confident and strong in my uh, uniqueness and my individuation, you know? It's as though as much as I wanted to be normal and average and thought of as such by others, I wasn't allowed to really actually be that. I, I was required to be different. I was required to acknowledge my difference and maybe ultimately to appreciate it and embrace it. Required by whom or by what? Maybe I don't know the answer to that question, but maybe I do know the answer to that question. And I would say required by my higher self, my causal body, my soul, This is where I currently am on the subject, so I'd like to share it. Your soul or your causal body is the aspect of you that is responsible for laying out the themes that you may experience in a lifetime. So before you come in, there's some sense of concept you know, a map of the incarnation, but not a, not a map in terms of a requirement that this is the route you will take, but some things that you will likely experience in one way or another and come up against. And I can just name a few relative to this scar, this birthmark, this lesion that may, may be, have been relevant for me uh, and for my soul in this incarnation. I've expressed already a few of them. But uh, vanity and uniqueness and um, individuality and um, courage and uh, sensitivity and emotions, and you get the picture. Like all that's wrapped up in that lesion. So I'm okay with my scar now. And I, there's an aspect of me that loves it. There's an aspect of me that wonders if I were facing this question again today, would I remove the birthmark? I don't know the answer right now. But I'm okay with the scar. I'm loving the lesion. It's character, right? If everybody had perfect skin and perfect... Uh, pigment and all that would be a really boring world. So I'll take my uniqueness. Thank you for joining me uh, and for allowing me to share this today. And I hope you have a really great Saturday wherever you are and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll look forward to sharing with you again tomorrow. Thank you.